It is now 11:16. So Sarah, a lot of things going on on a <laughs> soupy day in Northeast Ohio. That it was. We were staying dry here, but also sad to be away from all the excitement just down the road. Yeah. Betsy's been keeping an eye on it for, for all of our fans and visitors in town. Betsy? Yeah. Actually, I got to do weather for the NFL for the event. Uh, Pretty in the cool. City of Cleveland, too. So I've been sending forecasts over there, and I'll tell you what, right on time, 8 o'clock, the back edge of that rain came through, and the city has just been sparkling in the background. Few clouds for the morning tomorrow, windy conditions tomorrow. That's the big change that's coming in. Not only do we get to see the sun, uh, but it does look like we will be seeing considerable wind gusts through the afternoon, especially. We'll stay mostly sunny as we get into the evening. The problem is there is a little something, something passing through between morning and evening, and that may stir up a few showers. Patchy drizzle, a few sprinkles still possible around northeast Ohio as we slowly but surely drain out. The Black Creek is in, uh, uh, the Black River is in flood at this point, and that will uh, slowly subside as we go through the day tomorrow. The big change is coming. Coming in in the form of drier air. Relative humidity readings east are still at 90 plus percent. West, we've backed it down into the 80 plus percent category. So it's a slow transition that we will have taking place. But out to the west, there's another little wave. That's the something something coming as we head through the day tomorrow. Probably in the time frame around 10 a.m. to noon, this will swing through. Notice how these showers have just kind of disappeared in the evening. That is a nocturnal cooling taking place. So diurnally driven showers means the daytime heating gets them going. And then once that daytime heating goes away, nocturnal cooling takes place and we see those uh, showers become uh, a lot less vigorous uh, and that will be the case tomorrow. We're going to start off with just clouds and then we'll see those showers popping. Here's your national designer hour by hour forecast and I say showers. I do mean that it may end up only being a few sprinkles coming through because of that drier air that's in place, but we will start the day in the 40s. Look at your winds. Winds at 14 sustained, so 10 to 20 sustained. Wind gusts 25 to 30 in the morning. We're probably going to see wind gusts over 40 in the afternoon. All right, 10 to 12, here is that little wave coming through. And again, this may be some passing sprinkles, perhaps a light shower with some cloud cover, but it's quick because then it's out of here as we get into the afternoon. Once that wave goes by, that's when the big wind gusts will get here. Wind gusts up around 40 miles per hour are possible. Temperatures right around 50 degrees mid afternoon. So we still have a cool day taking place tomorrow, but it will be feeling a lot different because that uh, lower humidity air will be getting in here. That's some good news by five o'clock. Now you're seeing those wind gusts. So if you have plans to come down to draft night tomorrow, do be advised if you have a parka on or a jacket of some sort, make sure it's a windbreaker. Uh, because you're going to need it. That wind is definitely going to be whipping. Then tomorrow night, we really clear out. Finally, once the sun sets, the winds will calm down, and that will allow temperatures to drop big time. There's actually a freeze watch that has been issued for our inland counties. That does not include the Lakeshore counties, but the inland counties. So if you have plants that you really like and you really want them to do well here in the next few weeks and beyond, it's time to get out the sheets and get them covered up. Again, that is tomorrow night. Union Home Mortgage Outlook, there you see it. Temperatures in the 50s, windy with those sprinkles passing through again. That's late morning, early afternoon. Then sunny and awesome on Saturday. What a gorgeous day it's going to be. It, downtown will be packed with people for the draft. Upper 60s, we're going to go upper 70s on Sunday. Clouds on the increase. We'll hold 70s Monday as some rain moves in. And then soggy conditions continue Tuesday as cooler air filters in. It's going to knock us back into reality as we head through the end of next week and into next weekend with temperatures in the upper 50s to right around 60. Sarah. All right. Thank you, Betsy.